What's up, YouTube? So, I was trying to figure out how to get my Apex Legend stats to show up live on my Twitch stream, and I figured out how to do it after looking around for a couple of minutes. Uh, it takes a little bit of CSS, but it'll all be in the description. So, this is what the end result's to, you're supposed to look like. Uh, so, first of all, just open up your web browser. Go to apex.tracker.gg. It's a website where you can track all of your stats, lifetime, and champ specific. So... Once you're in there, just grab this link. Open up your OBS again. Uh, I'm going to go into a demo scene. going to add a browser. Put in your URL. Uh, generally, I change the width and height to 1920 by 1080 so that it doesn't go into like a mobile format for the website or whatever. And then for CSS, it's going to be in the description, but let me grab it from over here where I used it before. Basically, what this CSS is doing is you got the default OBS one to get rid of like the scroll wheel and everything. Then we're going to hide the entire body because, you know, you just don't want to see the entire web page going on in the background. And then you're taking this class that they uh, set in their CSS, which is basically just for every single text value regarding kills and levels and whatnot. And you're going to set that to visible. Uh, the reason we're using visibility is because you can set children to visible, which is very nice. So then just grab that, go back to your, go back to my demo, go back to whatever your scene is, then just paste it into your CSS box and give it a second. So this is what it looks like right now. Uh, the way we're going to fix that is you can hold alt and resize and that'll recrop it. So, there's probably a way to uh, change the CSS so you can get these to be whatever position you want. I don't know if they had individual IDs for each uh, value. I couldn't really see it. So, this is the way I'm going with, but you can just resize it like that. And then what you want to do is, I'm going to go into my current one. Check out the filters. Let me grab my color key. i just been looking for the color. This is the default color of the background of the website. However, if they were to change it, the way you would do it is inspect element on, you know, whatever browser you're using. Just click here and you can see background color here, at least on Firefox. On Chrome, it's going to be relatively simple. I believe like this thing might be on the side or whatever, but it's the same process. Just get the color. Let me go back into my demo here. Filters, add a chroma key. Yep. Oh, not chroma key. Hmm. Color key. My bad. Get rid of this chroma key. And then from within the color key, go to custom color. Select color. Put in the color. And it should be out. Yep. There. And then if you want to get your, you know, kills in or whatever, you can just copy this layer, paste it. And then just... Alt resize this one. Oh, that's my Windows button. Alt resize this one. And boom. You've got both of them. And then you can put them into a box like this. You know, it works fine. It's going to update every couple minutes. When it updates, you might see a little flash. Because it's going to probably take the browser and reload the entire thing. Just to, you know, get this one number. Um, but yeah, that's how it works. And if you enjoyed it, you know... Leave a like, you know, come by the stream, Twitch TV, Malandrix F. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoy.